we benefited from Chinese uh, investment and Chinese loans, particularly uh, during the period of time when there was a global recession, 2008 to 2010. Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. I am the Kenyan Beast. Of course, we are doing it the African way every day, every time. How are you? I'm very good. You're good. Always. Now, in today's video, I'm going to talk about the effect of China in Jamaica. Chinese in Jamaica. Now, a lot of people are saying that Chinese or China is taking over Jamaica. Chinese construction company Czech wants to build a gated community on sacred indigenous lands in St. Anne. I'm Kalila Reynolds, financial journalist and educator based in Jamaica. Now, if you're living in Jamaica, the name Czech or China Harbor Engineering Company is probably very familiar to you. Czech has been working in Jamaica since 2009 and is responsible for over 20 projects, the North-South Highway, Southern Coastal Highway, and Three Miles Overhead Bridge in Kingston are some of the more notable ones. Now, the company wants to get into real estate development and is interested in building a residential gated community in Mami Bay, St. Anne, a prime tourism area. The land they're interested in is a whopping 740-acre space in Mami Bay. Czech's ambitious plans include a hotel, apartments, townhouses, and a special economic zone that would house roughly 4,500 residents. The only issue is... The designated development area holds a lot of historical and ecological importance. Rivers, Mami Bay Great House, Roaring River Great House, and property tied to Marcus Garvey's family and Taino settlements. So, of course, this has caused some controversy. I don't know. What do you think? Tell me in the comment section. China is taking over Jamaica. But the Prime Minister of Jamaica said this. Jamaica has also been the largest recipient of Chinese investments in the Caribbean. How has that experience worked out for you? China has been very good to Jamaica, and uh, China has been a very good uh, infrastructure development partner. Uh, we benefited from Chinese uh, investment and Chinese loans, particularly uh, during the period of time when there was a global recession, 2008 to 2010. Uh, and we use that to uh, support the development of infrastructure, particularly our highways. And uh, that has uh, been a, an economic boom for us. But in terms of our debt profile, uh, Chinese debt is uh, approximately about 4% of Jamaica's overall debt. Uh, what we encourage is greater investment from, from China. And we're seeing that uh, in, in, in many areas, particularly in uh, infrastructure, construction particularly. One of your ministers said that some of those investments and loans came at a time when the U.S. was busy doing other stuff. Uh, I, I think the, the U.S., uh, I mean, there is always the, the fear of um, uh, Chinese influence in the region. But a large part of that is uh, the attention the United States pays to its backyard, pays to the uh, countries uh, that are part of its third border. Now, the Jamaican Prime Minister said that uh, they have, uh, 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 they have uh, benefited a lot from China. Okay? First of all, have you ever seen uh, a Chinese business and a black business somewhere? For example, in Kenya, Chinese business and a black yeah, business sure. together. Yeah. Where do you see a lot of people while, you know? Where do, where do they have a lot of customers? Chinese. <laughs> Why? <laughs> where do you think? Where do you think black people cannot support black people business? Because you know, you know the problem. Let, let me ask you. Uh, what comes in your mind when you are going to buy a mobile phone uh, and then there's two shops here? Uh -huh. This is from China, man. Uh -huh. This one is from uh, from me now. Uh -huh. Where will you go to buy your phone? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Are you are, are you trapped? Is that a trap? No, no. I I just I I want you to answer me so that I can. Uh, no, that's a trap, something. man. That's a trap. Where will you buy a phone? <laughs> Skip. <laughs> okay. Where you, where will man. where will a lot of people buy their phones? Okay, people will buy their phones at a China shop. What do you think comes in the mind of these people who are going you know, to buy a phone? You know, let me let me tell you something. Mm -hmm. You know, the problem is not uh is not about. Uh, 
maybe supporting each other mm-hmm. haven't you seen even in town mm-hmm. uh, a muzungu is passing a white person is passing and then uh, africans are like hey, see, 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 see that guy see that guy you see yeah, yeah. so uh, we, we we keep on thinking like these people are different from us the mentality the mentality that's the problem that we, we have we, fake we, things we do not have a, we do not have that mind of saying um, that uh, the, 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 this is a fellow human being. Okay. He's a human being like me. Mm-hmm. Maybe he's a creature like me. So we keep on thinking they are better. Mm-hmm. So even if they have, we 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 have a, 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 sh- a two shops, mm-hmm. uh, and the the one of them the owner is a Chinese, and another one the owner is an African. Mm-hmm. You're going there because you think mm-hmm. uh, the items is, the the items he or she is selling is better than the items this other person is selling. Okay. But in real sense, mm-hmm. they're just different. Okay. Yeah. Now, uh, th- this uh, there is this um, uh, ambassador of Jamaica to was ambassador of Jamaica in USA. Yeah. Uh, he is talking about. Uh, he talked about the influence of China yeah. uh, in Caribbean. Let's hear him and then we talk. We will be discussing China in the Caribbean, and we have with us a very distinguished Caribbean citizen who will speak to this subject with us here in Carib Nation. Dr. Bernal is a former ambassador of Jamaica to Washington, D.C. What is it that is so new about China being in the Caribbean, considering the fact that Chinese have been there since indentureship? Uh, Chinese people have been in the Caribbean for centuries. However, the relationship between China and Caribbean states has considerably deepened and expanded in the last decade. And that is a reflection of China's growing world role and its expansion of its economy. It is expanding its relationship with the Caribbean for a number of reasons. One is political. The dispute between Taiwan, which claims to represent China, and the People's Republic of China, competing for diplomatic recognition in Caribbean and Central American countries. That has motivated China to increase its development assistance in the region and to expand its diplomatic engagement. Secondly, China's economy is growing rapidly and it is now looking for sources of raw material, export markets, and investment outlets. And thirdly, as China becomes a global power, it begins to feel the necessity to have a presence throughout the globe, both diplomatic and economic. But the Caribbean is fundamentally, in more ways than one, a tourist sector-oriented economy. Why would China be interested in, because the raw materials, except for Guyana and Suriname, are in Africa and other parts of the world? Well, the Caribbean has considerable untapped resources. For example, agricultural land and forestry and offshore fishing in Guyana, Suriname, Belize. There are also some mineral deposits, bauxite in Jamaica and Guyana, and some in Suriname. There is natural gas in Trinidad. So there are quite a lot of raw materials which China would be interested in. In addition to that, uh, China will be the largest source of tourists in 2020. And while they are traveling primarily in Asia and to a lesser extent in Europe, it won't be long before their appetite for travel expands to take in the entire globe. It's a significant opportunity for the Caribbean. Well, I'm aware that in Japan, Bob Marley and reggae is very, very popular. It's widespread. So I wouldn't be surprised if in China, uh, Caribbean culture, which is quite dynamic, would catch on and might attract tourists. So you do have a point there. Uh, at least 50,000 Japanese travel to the Caribbean each year. And uh, the travel distance is not much longer from China. I think it's a matter of raising the profile of the Caribbean. This has happened, as you know, across the world because of our music such as reggae and carnival in Trinidad and so on. But the Olympics and the performance of Caribbean athletes there raise the profile. What is needed at this time is a sustained campaign to market the Caribbean as a destination, to introduce that destination to 
Asia, to Chinese travelers so that they begin to look beyond Asian countries as destinations well, for tourism? Well, you know, last year, Carib Nation, myself and Larry Sinders, we were down at the Caribbean Tourism Conference in Ocho Rios. There was not one word spoken about what you're talking about. So it seems to me that a person like yourself and the book that is coming out, and whenever you do speaking tours and so forth, and your influence in the Caribbean, this is something that should be supported. I have been speaking about this for a number of years and encouraging the engagement with China because China presents several important opportunities for the Caribbean. We have already discussed the fact that tourism is a major opportunity and I believe that once Chinese tourists begin to travel to the Caribbean, it won't be long before there is private Chinese investment in the hotel industry and Chinese airlines linking the Caribbean. But in addition to that, it's a vast, rapidly growing market for just about everything that can be produced in the Caribbean. At the moment, the Caribbean is importing a lot more from China than it is exporting. And indeed, the trade deficit is growing with China. But that is because there are so many untapped opportunities. At the moment, the exports from the region are concentrated in bauxite, asphalt, uh, some food and agriculture products. But I believe that in the future, our exports can involve services, can even involve some manufactured goods, particularly our high-end products in rum, coffee, etc. I the believe entertainment is a major opportunity as well. And we should be looking at China not only as a source of development assistance to borrow from or to get grants and technical assistance, but as a major source of foreign investment because China, which up to now had been merely, merely a recipient of foreign investment, is now becoming a major source, particularly for emerging markets. We should be looking at attracting uh, direct private investment from China across all the sectors. Now, I was in the Caribbean recently, and there are some fears that were expressed that because of the nature of the Chinese economic model, you have a communist party that is centralized, and you have a, a, a kind of form of state capitalism with Chinese kind of government-sponsored uh, companies that are competitive, investing, and so forth. And that through the embassy, they are helping Chinese businesses in the various countries, which gives a disadvantage to local entrepreneurs. And number two, that when the Chinese come to do a project like the $3 billion project in Trinidad or the multi-billion dollars in Bahamas or in Antigua or in Dominica, be it a school, a hospital, or a stadium, or the performing arts, that they bring their workers. In other words, Caribbean people are now getting to work. So at two levels, the entrepreneur are saying, we are in trouble, and the workers are saying, we are in trouble. There are three points to be answered in, in that question. It's a multiple warhead question. The first is that uh, Chinese, the Chinese economy consists of a range of enterprises. Some are purely state enterprises at one end of the spectrum, and at the other end you have purely private sector firms. What is important is when engaging with China on any economic activity, whether trade or investment, the state is working very closely with the firms, whether they are state enterprises or private enterprises. And that is a plus in the sense that when these firms take on projects, they can often get financing from the Chinese government, state-owned banks. And that's why the Chinese have been able to win a number of contracts for construction in the region. The question of the relationship with local enterprise. We're living in a globalized world and we are exposed to competition not only from China but from Brazil, India, the US, Canada, everywhere. And our firms have to become internationally competitive. I don't see the Chinese firms as any more intrusive or threatening than a U.S. multinational corporation or a state-owned enterprise from Brazil. Now, welcome back. Ah, uh, my brother. Mm -hmm. um, 
do you think uh, China has the interest of people, like for example, interest of uh, black people in their heart? You know, because they, they are everywhere. They yeah, are sure, in Kenya. Sure. Like, they are just like Niger. Chinas are a different kind of people. Mm. When you're talking about the whites, maybe the white uh, white people actually uh, maybe misusing Africans mm. and white people trying to bring down Africans. Mm. I would uh, try to maybe uh, see China mm. as maybe different a little bit. Okay. Okay. They have standed out in some way. Mm. Okay. So uh, why am I saying this? I'm saying this because uh, you know China, chi Chinas. Mm. They Chinese, are Chinese, mm. Chinese people. They are good at other people. Their their way their way of socializing with other people is is somehow mm. uh, good and somehow interesting. Okay, and that is why do we have a country? That's and, according to you. That's according to me. Uh -huh. Do we have a country in Africa that China col colonized? No, not really. We don't have one. Mm. And so, um, when a, a Chinese person sees uh, you. Mm. When he sees a, he sees an opportunity, his business. When he sees he sees an opportunity, maybe an African uh, is having a certain potential, mm -hmm. maybe a certain certain. Okay, let me use certain potential. Mm -hmm. He doesn't take it as an advantage. Mm -hmm. He would rather take that potential mm -hmm. to make him uh, advance mm -hmm. and you also advance. So you you advance together. Okay, that's the difference between a China mm -hmm. and another white man maybe uh, those other people those are the white people first of and all before uh, you continue yeah. let me tell you something about a uh, white man when you are you are given a job yeah. with a white man with a muzungu yeah you will get your your offs on time okay you will not work on weekends okay you get your salary on time yes. you get your health something mm. it's different when you work with a Indian or Chinese. Okay. Uh, do you know it's it's important? It's it's, it's like it's a plus to work in a in a Muzungu company. Yeah. You know, the, uh, and, and and let me tell you mm -hmm. one thing again. Uh, if I really want to, you know, there's a there's a there's a there's a, 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 a moment where, mm -hmm. or maybe there's a um okay, well, I don't know how to say it, but uh, let me put it this way. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, um, I can make you suffer. But in a way that I'm making you think you're living better. But in real sense, I'm making you suffer in a way that I would make you think you're living better. I got that. So, like, I'm making you suffer. Mm. But in your mind, I'm making... Uh, in your mind, you think you're living better. Yeah. So, like, for example, uh, if I'm, I'm, I want to give you something, maybe if I want you to work for me, mm. Eh? Mm. I know that when you're working for me, mm. I should be paying you, for example, a uh, hundred dollars, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. Maybe uh, after, per month, mm -hmm. I should be paying you a hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. But you're working for me. Mm -hmm. That a hundred dollars mm -hmm. should cater for you, uh, like the, those time that you're working for me, mm -hmm. because you know Africans are Africans. Yeah, sure. You give it a small thing, a small favor. Mm -hmm. You rejoice on that and on on towards like towards that small favor. <laughs> you, you feel, <laughs> yeah, you feel so much good <laughs> mm. in a small favor that you have been given. Yeah. And in real sense, you're supposed you to more. you are supposed to be given more than that. Okay? okay. But because you don't, you cannot even you can't you can't uh, access even that smaller one, mm. and you have now been given. You rejoice on that small favor. In and in real sense, it is not your portion. Okay. Mm. And so. I would, uh, a, a white man can can employ an African, mm. and then you're supposed to pay this African a hundred dollars, mm. okay? Mm. And then you decide to pay him seventy dollars, mm. or you decide to pay him fifty dollars, mm -hmm. okay? But because you know he's an African, mm. you come with some uh, some other benefits, mm. okay? Mm. Like for example, you'll not be working on a weekends. I get lunch break. You get lunch break. You get these things. I get. Of course, a... Africans are used to are used to working. They African buy school. Africans work. Work. They buy me umbrella. They use a lot of energy when working. You getting yeah. that point? Yeah. They're really using a lot of energy. So these people are used to work. Okay. So you know very well when you do that, this person does what? Mm. This person feels hey, there's some some okay, favors okay. here. You see? Give that. Yeah. Let's come back here to Jamaica. Okay. Now China has come to Jamaica. Okay. It has revived uh, the, the, revived the business that dead business mm -hmm. is now working. Yeah. It is uh, investing in Jamaicans. So now. Most Jamaicans are feeling insecure, okay. uh, but the Prime Minister of Jamaica is uh, assuring them that China has benefited uh, Jamaica. Okay. 
uh, do you think uh, Jamaicans have um, uh, have um, uh, have to be alarmed to feel insecure because this this lady in a book uh, uh, prophesied that China will take over Jamaica. Okay. Uh, so I don't know. I don't know what. Uh, let, let let me tell you something. Uh, uh, you know, the government should now be uh, be actually uh, a body mm. that should. Uh, take a look mm -hmm. and that should uh, uh, actually now like should be concerned so much what if the because government is if the government is the one selling us you know no, no we don't we don't well, at least not, black we don't you know, we like just example, don't uh, accept everything let me let me tell you this uh, you know here in Kenya when we are talking about Jamaica having chinas mm. in Kenya we have indians yeah. okay yeah indians are all over here in this country very true People who are very rich in this country, they are Indians and with factories and with supermarkets and a lot of things. Ma Manu Chandaria. Do you know yeah, Manu Chandaria? I know him. So, uh, uh, the, yeah. I think the He's richest. He's uh, the farm, the farm things everything. and the, 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 everything here in Kenya. If you can get even your eggs, they like have, Manu Chandaria. They have big factories. Mm. Even that factory, the, the Mumia Sugar Company, mm. the, that factory mm. was supposed to be, an Indian was bringing it up. Okay? And but, then w one morning, president woke up and said... <laughs> It's either you pay tax mm. or you leave Kenya, you go to your country mm. or you go to heaven. <laughs> okay, yeah, okay, I remember. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. so it got to a point when these people, uh, there's, there was some kind of a fear that was instilled. Mm. Okay. This can only happen when a, a leader uh, feels or maybe uh, begins to sense some fishy things or maybe some fishy mm. because... It is very hard for another country to just come and take over another country directly. Maybe they do it indirectly. Through yeah, the yeah, government. of course, of course, okay. they do it indirect. Maybe they do it indirectly through the government. Mm. But again, uh, the the government should actually be very careful if you really love your country, because, because we, no, we don't no, know. Like we don't know, and we may not know if the if the government is 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 uh, is doing is working straight or not. Now, the reason why uh, one will say that uh, they are taking over our country is yeah. because. Uh, maybe some places in Jamaica, okay. uh, as a black man, you cannot access in some hotels, no, 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 you know, no, no, some no, no, beaches. No. Uh, and, and maybe the taxes of the beaches, in, instead of uh, helping the people of Jamaica, mm. it is being collected by the people of, ja of, uh, of, uh, of uh, no. the Chinese people, you know. It, it, so it, it, that's it, where it everything it, gets it sour. It Do it you know sour? Yeah. It, it what is sour? Equal. No. Uh. Not Swahili sour. Uh. What is sour? No, no, I don't know that. I ah. thought you were saying What is sour? <laughs> S-O-U-R. S-O-U. Getting bitter. So. No, we call it sour. No. <laughs> call it sour, <laughs> not so. Not so. So is S-O-W. <laughs> no, I don't. So the so of S-O-W. I'm, I'm not talking about the so. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about the so, the bitterness. It's not so. <laughs> you don't know. Which English? Which okay, type of English? I don't know. I don't know <laughs> maybe. Maybe I don't know. It is okay. sour. Yeah. Yeah, it's okay. So, and, mm -hmm. so uh, the problem, uh, you, you see, sometimes when, uh, when, like for example, in, in the United States, we have Chinatown. Mm -hmm. huh? Even in Kenya, we have Chinatown. Even in Kenya, we have Chinatown. We have, we have China have, Square. We have Ethiopian. Do you remember? Do you remember when uh, the, 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 there was uh, there was a protest? Huh? There is a company here in the Chinese uh, shopping mall was somewhere in Thika Road. Yeah. It was selling things at a throwaway price, mm -hmm. and 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 the people from Kamukunji, the people there were like. No, you cannot do this. Mm. Like something we are buying. Uh, for example, what you do, what you don't have, don't have what. For example, you don't have a phone, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, a phone is being sold at uh, two hundred dollars mm -hmm. here in in town. You know okay. the the Chinese people are selling it at one fifty. Why? Because they are the one producing them. <laughs> <laughs> you see. Um, and 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 there was a clash between the people yeah. and the sellers because the people were like, yeah, this is the things we want. And price the, price should be go down. And, and the, the sellers were like, no, we cannot afford because we are buying the same price from China. And yes. then you are coming here and selling the same price. Why? That is you very know? bad. So that's why we, some of us feel like uh, the I, country I, is taking over. I don't over. think it 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 need it should ever get to a point when another country would start collecting tax in a in a foreign country. Mm. When it really comes to that, then something else, there's something uh, something bad is is happening because mm. now when it gets to a point when another country would start collecting foreign uh, collecting tax mm. tax taxes in a foreign country, 
my friend that is that is very dangerous it's like they have a share it's like they have a man, I, I, man? can we go to uganda and try that we no you'll be that. killed man <laughs> Do you, because, what comes because in you a, have, you know, you know, they are, they are can't, that's why I'm telling you. Mm-hmm. There are there are some countries they are very strict. Mm-hmm. It's like the other time we were talking about um, a, a woman from where, from which country? What was the, in South Africa? South Africa. When, when, when which country was he from? Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe. Mm-hmm. The woman is saying, "Oh, we are supposed to, to you are supposed to give us what, what, what? Yeah. Go and try that in Uganda. Museveni will ask and, you to yeah, leave yeah. because there are countries, you, there are limits." There are countries you cannot go beyond some uh, points. You cannot go beyond boundaries. Somebody commented in that video and said, uh, you cannot come in my house. Huh? Mm-hmm. I give you work to wash my clothes and utensils and you, 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 you know, you wash my house and yes. then at the end of the day you are telling me I have to be part of this house. No, <laughs> it, 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 never, it never works that way. Yeah. It can never work that way. It, 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 you don't, those people are there mm. for they are they, it is a, it, it is just a favor mm. for them to be in that country mm. it's some kind of a favor mm. okay because that is not their country at the end of the day they are not supposed to live there are you getting my point yeah. because you have your country and you have uh, boarded a plane to a foreign country mm. maybe you're not even a citizen of that country mm. you, you 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 have not even changed your citizenship okay mm. and so if you're doing a business in a foreign country and the government of that country has actually given you a, a go-ahead mm. to do that business, mm. you do it. But do not go beyond the boundaries. Okay. The issues of collecting tax in a foreign country because you have now uh, uh, you're, you're now rooted there. You have uh, actually. You, you but have, you play a bigger part of the backbone. Playing a bigger back, backbone of the said, country. Playing a bigger part. Am, am I, the beach. The beach are uh, playing, going because of me. The hotels are here because of me. If you live, I am a Chinese. I'm a white. I'm a white oh, man. No, 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 no. I have advantage over black people. The, we what, have, what are you telling me, my? We, we have Africans in the U.S. We have Africans in the U.S. Are they not working there? Mm-hmm. Are they not making the economy of the United States grow? No, tell me the truth. They are black. They are black people. That's why they cannot have advantage. Yeah. But so I'm a white man. Even if a white I'm man. I'm a white man. But I have advantage over you black no, no, people. No, 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 no. If a white man leaves you. If, I, if I come and open a hotel here, my all question, black people have to come in my hotel. My very simple question because is Because I'm, I'm white. My very simple question is this. Yeah. If a white man leaves your country, mm. will your country go down? Will your country end? Is, will that be the I end? I will go country? with my investment. No, 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 no. Even if you go with your investment, mm. that country will not go down. Because when you came there, you came into that country. It was existing. You know the one who made that country began existing. You came to an existing country. Do Are you, you getting my point? I'm getting your point. Yeah, you came to an existing country. So even if you go, mm. nothing will change. Because we have Africans in the U.S., we have Africans in Russia. We have Africans in France. In, fa- in fact, mm. France is full of Africans. Mm-hmm. They are working there. They are making the economy. In fact, if uh, let me ask, t- tell you a very simple thing. Mm. France, France national team, mm. it only has only one white man or two. Giroud. Olivier Giroud, mm. Griezmann, and someone else there. I don't know uh, what is this. Fans, name? fans. And many fans who are whites. Yeah. If they decide now to leave mm. that national team, France will will not have will will there will not there will not be a national team in France. Mm-hmm. Are you getting my point? Yeah. So we we have also impact, mm-hmm. but the problem is that the foreign countries, the white countries, mm-hmm. does not see the uh, impact we have. Mm-hmm. They see us as nothing. They see us as people with disabilities. Okay. <laughs> But we are we have a lot of impact mm. in those countries. A lot of impact. We are doing a lot. In fact, we are black people are the one who have built yeah. USA, Britain. They have built those countries. Yeah, sure. We are making the economy of that those countries stand. We are making the the uh, we are we are building those countries, but they cannot say that we are building their countries because we have always been actually defined as people with disabilities. Let me ask you. Because we are black people. Let me ask so you. So even if Chinese leave mm. Jamaica, mm. Jamaica will not die. Bro. Let me ask you. Do you think the Jamaican people have a, have a, they have to worry that uh, Chinese are taking over or they just have to support because uh, Chinese are is uh, investing uh, in Jamaica? Let me let me say this. Mm. Jamaicans are very strong mm. and Jamaicans are they are very friendly. 
one thing that uh, would sometimes bring Jamaicans down, mm. you know too much of everything is poisonous. Mm. If you can if you can go to Jamaica, mm. Jamaicans are friendly people. Mm. Jamaicans are very much welcoming mm-hmm. and Jamaicans are ma- many of them they are uh, they are people with good heart. So they welcome everybody. But you, their their goodness should not uh, get them to a point of no return. Mm. They should not lead them to a point where they cannot actually take themselves out. Okay? Mm. And so they should just be very careful. When it gets to a point where now things are going uh, they feel like now where we are going now w- where we are heading to is terrible they should raise Back an up. alarm are you getting my point i'm getting your point they should raise an alarm because they can speak to the government mm-hmm. the only people who can speak to the government mm-hmm. are the people of jamaica so the government the issues where the issues that the people of a certain country raise mm-hmm. they are the issues that the government the government of that certain can, that particular country should listen to Okay, mm. so you cannot tell me that uh, the government uh, may be working with the Chinese, mm. or maybe supporting the Chinese because it wants the Chinese to be part of that country, mm. or maybe they are giving something to the to the government. That cannot be an uh, it, it 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 can't be a uh, what, what do I say? It? Um, you you don't defend yourself that way. Mm. Are you getting my point? Okay, so. Uh, the government what the government should what the people should do mm. anytime they feel there is something going on that is not good mm. they should just raise an alarm because the government has to listen to them let's end by let's end there yeah let's end there i just want to tell you on the comment section as a jamaican sir, about this chinese thing about jamaica we have had the prime minister talking we have had the uh, ambassador that was a jamaican u.s ambassador talking tell me what you think of the comment section do you feel like chinese is taking over jamaica a lot is going on Tell us in the comment section. Until next episode, mm. I am the Kenyan Beast and he is Levimed TV. Don't forget to subscribe on these channels because yeah. a lot of good things coming your way. Peace. Be with you. Be with you.